Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Real Ghostbusters Scream Action Egon. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Alright, so here we have the Screaming Action Egon Spengler. Not exactly sure why they would have Screaming Action Heroes. I mean, isn't the model supposed to be, we're not afraid of no ghost? Uh, but anyways, I digress. Before I go on, I will apologize. I do, not, I do not have his PKE meter accessory that he came with. It was his little handheld weapon. And it was one of those things that is so small it can be easily lost. My only real complaint about the whole PKE thing is, I wish they had more of them. You would think that a weapon that would was shown even more than the PAX or even more than the Ecto-1 would be an accessory that they would have almost with every single Ghostbuster, especially all the different variants of Egon Spengler. I mean, he was the most known for using it, but nope, this was the only guy that ever came with one, much like the Peter in this line was the only one that ever came with a little ghost trap. Now, as far as his articulation goes, his head can move side to side, his arms can move up and down, his legs can move up and down as well, yada, yada, yada. It's the same as for all the Ghostbusters characters in this line. It's pretty much almost remolds of everything with just little bits added here and there. Um, he does kind of have this weird goofy face. I'm not really sure why, how that is supposed to be seen as a scream or I guess it's almost kind of a shock look, but just that open mouth just seems kind of funny to me. Uh, his, his detailing is okay. I mean, he has this side hip pad right here and some weird sci-fi looking knee pads. And I don't know what the heck that is around his ankle. His shoes are interesting. He definitely does look like he stepped out of the 80s, though. <laughs> now, as far as this white harness goes, I'm not really sure what to make of it. I actually think it makes it look silly, but after closer inspection, especially right here, you can kind of see some folds right in there. It makes me think that this guy was... Those parts were supposed to be red, as well as parts right here around the back of his hips. And, it, and probably this harness wasn't supposed to be as all encompassing around his body to me it just it, it just looks weird like this and because it's white some of the details are lost i'm guessing if you gave this guy a little custom paint job oh sorry i guess if you gave this guy a little custom paint job it would probably help him pop and it wouldn't look quite as silly um now all the screaming feature guys had a gimmick and egon's was a little bit weird in the fact that you just kind of wind him up like this and then he's supposed to just spin around how a guy would do that without breaking his spine is beyond me but eh. now he has this little switch right here and the idea was when well when this toy was brand new when you'd when you would wind him up he would be locked in place and then whenever you wanted him to actually just start screaming you just flip that little switch and he would start freaking out and spin now he also came with this little ghost and you can see it's kind of this weird tentacle creature it has this weird little monster face and it almost seems like he's kind of hugging a brain you can see a little bit of brain wrinkles in there and it has another other monster face on the side so it doesn't matter which side you have actually facing it's almost kind of like you could have two different ghosts in one depending on which way you have it angled now it has this weird little button at the top right here and he has this little slot in his back to i guess you press them in here and that was also supposed to activate the spinning feature however when i was a kid i don't remember ever it ever working all that well i think i'd push these in here and they they would just kind of stay in their locked position and then i'd have to press this anyways just to make them scream so i'm i'm not really sure what the point of that was unless you just wanted to have ghosts that attach to them or have an extra bit of way to hold on to the guys it, it's just weird i don't these guys the screaming features, guys, are just kind of, eh, I don't really get the point of them. And I must say, the coolest thing was is that he came with a little PKE meter and there was a Peter that came with a trap. And if you're going to get those these guys, definitely get them just for that because those accessories are kind of worth it just alone. Anyways, this isn't a bad figure. I mean, he's definitely a staple in the series. I've seen different artwork drawn of this guy, so he's a fan favorite of some people. Just me, I'm finding him okay. Anyways, this has been a look at Screaming Action, Egon Spangler. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below in the comment section. Also, feel free to check out some of my other toy review videos. Anyways, see you next time.